In 1934, during the height of the Great Depression, O.D. and Ruth McKee got their start by selling five-cent snack cakes from the back of their 1928 Whippet. They soon took things a step further and bought a failing bakery and actually lived in the back of it. After purchasing the new bakery, O.D. McKee began experimenting with the hard oatmeal cookies his little shop was baking. He made formula changes to make the cookies soft and sandwiched two cookies together with a fluffy cream filling and named it the Oatmeal Cream Pie. After years of adversity and determination, the McKee's efforts began to pay off. The idea to sell small snack cakes at a low price proved to be very successful. In 1954, the McKee family purchased King's Bakery which was actually run by Ruth's brother. They renamed the company the McKee Baking Company. To keep up with production and demand, a plant was built in Collegedale, Tennessee in 1957. Shortly after, in 1959, the first Nutty Buddy Bars were sold, starting a crunchy peanut buttery craze. These treats were crunchy wafer bars layered with peanut butter cream and covered in fudge. By 1960, McKee Foods was ready to expand into mass production. As a result, the McKee Baking Company pioneered the Family Pack. This was a family-sized carton of 12 or more individually wrapped snack cakes. Individually sold, 12 cakes would sell for a total of 60 cents. The price of the new 12-count family pack carton was 49 cents. This was also the first time the brand's treats were marketed with the brand name Little Debbie. The Little Debbie brand was created when O.D. McKee was thinking of a name for their new family pack cartons of snack cakes. Packaging supplier Bob Mosher suggested using a family member's name. McKee immediately thought of his four-year-old granddaughter, Debbie. Inspired by a photo of Debbie in play clothes and her favorite straw hat, he decided to use the name Little Debbie and an image of her on the logo. Originally, the logo was just a line art version of Debbie. The first full-color Little Debbie portrait was created and introduced on packaging later that same year and was created by Pearl Mann. Although the portrait has been modified slightly through the years, it endures to this day and is seen by millions of shoppers and snackers daily. In 1962, O.D. McKee took a trip to a European trade show looking for the next big thing. The cake, a miniaturized version of a popular dessert called roulade, was being crafted by several bakeries he toured. Once back in Tennessee, he started production and the Swiss rolls were added to the Little Debbie lineup a year later. There were 14 different varieties of snack cakes by 1964, and they still exist today. The classics include the Banana Twins, Swiss Rolls, Zebra Cakes, Raisin Cream Pies, Nutty Buddy, and of course, Oatmeal Cream Pies. The 1970s brought on more iconic treats, the Star Crunch cookies were first introduced as Moon Crunch snacks in celebration of the 1969 moon landing. Devil Squares were also released, but it wasn't until 2015 that the fudge striping was added. In 1982, Little Debbie snack cakes were designated as the official snack cake of the 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee. By 1985, Little Debbie was sold coast to coast in the 48 continental states. The iconic Christmas tree cakes debuted in 1985, and fancy cakes followed shortly after. In 1989, the oatmeal cream pie was featured in the classic 80s film 
Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. This was the first time a Little Debbie product had ever been featured in a movie. Shortly after, a giant model of the oatmeal cream pie was created for the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids movie set adventure at Walt Disney World in Florida. The 90s brought even more innovative treats. Zebra cakes, honey buns, and cosmic brownies were among the most popular. Since then, new treats have been released every couple of years. The real Little Debbie has always been an active member in the family business. Debbie McKee Fowler currently holds the position of Executive Vice President and serves on the McKee Foods Board of Directors. With such a huge selection, we have many options when it comes to picking a favorite. So what was your favorite Little Debbie snack growing up?